Portugal, baby! So we're vibing at the rain right now and right now we're going to be going to something called the Santa Justa lift and um, it basically connects the lower streets to the higher Carmo, Carmo Square if I'm pronouncing it right. So we're going to check that out. Yo guys, dude, what the hell? Look at this. the peaks of Lisbon and uh, basically this place is where uh, the previous dictator named Salazar chilled. It was the restaurant where he used to chill at awesome. and <laughs> so <laughs> it's all pretty cool and we're gonna check this place out. <laughs> What is this bed for? So this <clears throat> this have a lot of sarcastic uh, phrases here, but actually some weeks ago I was here with a group and a girl from Belgium. Yeah. She said that this girl Rita Wasson have a lot of uh, this art in uh, in Belgium. The Quinta da Ragalera is a palace located in Sintra. It was previously owned by this huge millionaire called the Monteiro Millionaire. It was sold to him in 1892 and eventually the Sintra Town Council procured it. He was a Freemason, which is why many features of this castle and its compound shared resemblance with the Knights Templar and Freemasons, which I thought was really, really cool. If you visit this palace, however, you'll be able to check out an absolutely beautiful Freemason chapel, a secret underground Freemason ritual well, secret passages, and, um, well, very, very beautiful waterways. The tour guide brought us here and apparently that's a well that we have to look for and this well is supposedly really really nice so that's how it really is. <laughs> I was gonna record a video explaining how I got ripped off because this was five euros. I got it for like one euro or two in Porto. And guess what happened to it when I was gonna whip out my recording devices? Yeah. Yeah. Well done, buddy. Well done. So, right now we're at the westernmost point of <laughs> Europe. Over here you'll see what seems to be almost the entire continent of Europe and if you zoom into the westernmost point of continental Europe you'll see this thing called the Cabo da Roca which is a natural coastal viewpoint and a lighthouse as well and this is exactly where our amazing tour guide João brought us to and we had an absolutely amazing time.
If you use headphones or use a speaker, I recommend you save yourselves right now. Thankfully the wind wasn't strong enough to blow us off the cliff but I highly recommend that you be careful when you visit because in the past people have fallen off this cliff whether because of the weather or even just because it was slippery. Can you tell us where this place is Yuan? So we are here in Hell's Mouth. What is Hell's Mouth? Hell's Mouth. <laughs> At the end of this trip, Jean brought us to this amazing place called Hell's Mount. It was heaven. The sky was so beautiful that we spent more time there than we were meant to. And as the trip came to an end, I realized that trips as such weren't meant to be encapsulated by videos or pictures. Saying that I visited Lisbon could never compare to the actual value of exploring a foreign country. Because in exploring, we not only see and learn, but we meet and make relationships with people we never want to forget. So I'm dropping Joao's contact in the description because you have my word that he'll give you the best. And just to end this, Lisbon was amazing. Next stop, Porto!